Hi, how are you doing? It's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides. And what I've got for you today is a course walk of the straight turf course at Lingfield. Uh, we're in the middle of March at the moment, and last week was the last of the national hunt meetings, jumps meetings at Lingfield. So they're preparing the course now for the summer turf season, the flat turf season, which kicks off in May. And I thought while I was down there yesterday, I'd walk the straight course for you and then just produce this video showing you some of the characteristics of the straight course um, so you know what to look for when the races start in May there. So at the top of the course, there's basically four distances down here. There's a seven furlong 140 yard trip. There's a seven furlong trip which starts about here, a six furlong trip which starts about here, and a five furlong trip which starts here, obviously the five furlong sprint. So all the sprints effectively are run on this straight turf course. Now the most noticeable thing, I'll start the video playing, um, and as I lead you through it you'll see I'm right at the top here, this is the seven furlong 140 yard starting um, point and you can see it's very downhill that's the first thing I wanted to say is the first I'd say three to four furlongs is very downhill here and um, so as we go down as we walk down the course you can see the dot moving down and um, I'll walk forward here so we're coming down and the horses come out of the stalls obviously and then it's downhill and this is around the seven furlong start here as I say, um, this is around the seven furlong start, and you can see again quite a downhill run before they come to the the flat at the bottom here. It's sort of I'd say that the it's downhill until about the five furlong start. The five furlong actually is quite a straight, quite a flat course. Um, the six furlong, seven furlong, and seven furlong one forty are all definitely downhill, which makes it such a sharp, fast course. Uh, it's renowned for being. So that's a seven furlong start there. And then if I carry on down the hill, as you can see, just walking down the hill here, I'm just approaching now the six furlong point here. And you can actually see it written on the, on the pole as we get to the six furlong mark just here. It's just here at this kink is a six furlong start. And then we carry on, and you still see it's going downhill here, so that's a good a good three furlongs, you'd say, when you get to about here. And then we'll cross over the road in a minute, and it's just the other side of the road that the five furlong start starts. So you can see this road here that I'm going to cross, um, there we go, and the five furlong starts literally about here. So just this side of this little track. Uh, obviously in the summer they turf that track across so that the horses can gallop across it or they put, um, I think they put, they use uh, fibre sand off the course to actually fill that track in. Um, so you can see here that we're going down, we're now a lot more level, sorry, we're not as downhill as we were when we first started. This first part of the uh, straight course is downhill to about here, uh, to about this point. And then you start, you can see it's very flat here. And um, there's even a slight rise as you come onto the where the round course joins it here. There is a slight rise to about this point, and then it's flat again to the finish. But it, it's not noticeable the rise, it's just a gentle one. And um, so you'd say it's a very flat course from here on. Um, and then we come in. Well, let's gallop down here, obviously, from the five furlong. And then we're just approaching on our left here. You can see the downhill, quite a pronounced downhill um, bend here coming in from the round course, but it's very flat here. Um, and what you will notice in a lot of races is that the horses tend to stick to this inside line here, because obviously that line, that strip there is being used on the round course as the horses come round here they come onto this straight here and it's also used on the straight flat course in the summer so you do tend to get a strip of ground that's a little bit faster here um, on the inside line on that inside rail so you'll see a lot of horses head for there um, and hence why the lower numbers do tend to favour 
horses that stay on that side, um, sorry, the higher numbers on the stalls tend to favour horses because they'll be already drawn to this side and they'll naturally come down this strip. Um, so that's, we're on about, are we coming up to about the two furlong pole here? You can see just on the left here. That's the two furlong pole there that we're just coming to. And then the horses carry on obviously down here. You can see on the right here the chase fences. And then we're now just approaching the one furlong pole. You can see the one furlong pole just here, just coming up to it. So that's the one furlong. And then it's a sprint to the finish here. As you approach the hotel on your right and then the stands. And that's it, just going past the finish there. So that's the straight course. Um, the most important characteristic, obviously, that I was trying to un underline by doing this video is the, the first three furlongs being very, very downhill. Um, certainly to around here to the start of the five furlong. Um, so just under three furlongs, you'd say, is very, very downhill, makes it very sharp for the seven furlong 140, the seven furlong and six furlong start, the horses are coming out and straight downhill. So it's very, very fast course. And um, the other thing I want to outline again is this inside line here, because there's a definite advantage, definite bias to the inside rail here as you uh, join where the round is on the course, where the horses have run and um, the round course and on the flat course. So it's something to bear in mind when you're racing at Lingfield and hopefully it helps you find a few more winners. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be doing a follow-up video to this where we look at the round course, the round turf course.